uh, we're going to integrate, uh, we have x minus 1 times x plus 2 with respect to x. So let's say we have a product. Unfortunately, there is no product rule for integrals. So the way to do this is to simply multiply everything out and then integrate using the power rule. So we have the integral. And what we'll do is just distribute. So x times x is going to give us x squared. And then x times 2 will give us 2x. Weak chalk. Very weak chalk. And then uh, negative 1 times x is negative x. And negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. And all of this is being integrated with respect to x. It looks like we can do some simplification before we actually integrate. So we have 2x minus x, that's x. So x squared plus x. This piece here is x. And then we have the minus 2. So I drop the chalk. I'll be right back. I'm back. Okay, so uh, minus 2 dx. All right, now we can integrate using the power rule. So all you do is you add 1 to the exponent. So there's a 2 here. So 2 plus 1 is 3. Then you divide by that same number. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So we get x cubed over 3. Here's a 1. So we get x squared. Because 1 plus 1 is 2. So plus x squared. And then you divide by the number. So divide by 2. And then whenever there's a number, you just put an x next to it. So minus 2x. And don't forget the plus c. And that's it. That makes sense.